Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to discuss how we can model a cone uh, using vectors as lines for our mosquito folio. So let's say we have our two mosquitoes, they're mosquito A and B, and A and B are their initial positions. And let's say that they are closest to one another at A prime, B prime. This is the point where they're closest to one another. And so that's what we're working out in the first part of the folio. I've also got these definitions over here. I've got the spray moves at 50 centimeters a second, um, 50 centimeters a second. Yep, mosquito A travels at 10 and mosquito B at 15. So yours might be a little bit different, but I've just placed these up here for the purposes of these calculations I'm gonna perform. Now, one thing we, we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about a couple of ways that we can model this spray. One being, we're gonna spray it when the spray um, a prime and B prime are all collinear. Now, A prime and B prime, we've already established the time when they're closest together. So then we can find out what's the location of S such that these lie in the same line. And that's going to be such that vector SA is equal to some multiple of vector, um, vector A prime, B prime. Okay, that this vector is equal to some multi scalar multiple of this vector. That's gonna mean they lie in the same direction. We can also do stuff like dictate this distance from between the spray and A prime. So I'm gonna define that straight away as, um, I don't know, let's just go for five centimeters or something like that. I'm gonna get the spray nice and close to mosquito A's uh, prime position. So just to reiterate, A prime is when um, mosquito A and mosquito B are closest together. So that's a calculation that we've performed. All right, so let's say we've got this. Um, the spray is five centimeters from when they're closest together, and I'm going to spray it when they are closest together. Now, the spray is going to branch off in a cone, and we get to dictate like the sort of direction that the cone flows in. Um, this is something we can do a bit of research about. But let's say, like for instance, initially the spray has like an angle of 40 degrees or something like that. So that means it's gonna be 20 degrees in this direction and 20 degrees in this direction. Now, one of the limitations with this process is that basically everything that side of the calculation is wasted, isn't it? We've wasted all of the spray that side of the calculation. So what we might do first is do this sort of limited calculation and talk about how it can be improved. So let's go through the limited calculation here. So if I've got 20 degrees and I'm gonna spray it when mosquito A and B are closest together, so they're in these positions, well, it's gonna take one tenth of a second, okay? It's gonna take 0.1 seconds for the spray to get from S to the position A prime. And that's because the spray travels at 50 centimeters a second. So for instance, the time, you know, time is distance on top of speed. We have five centimeters to travel and the spray travels at 50 centimeters a second, we get one tenth of a second. 0 0.1 seconds for my spray to reach this position A prime. Now the problem with, um, with that is that mosquito A, because it's on a path, it's already moved a little bit further. And so what that means is we can then work out the position A prime prime, which is the position of mosquito A 0 0.1 seconds after being at position A prime. So we can work out this new position. Um, all we have to do then is go, all right, now is this new position, does this new position lie within this distance that we would expect here? Now we can calculate this distance, um, this distance here, because we know this is five centimeters and we have this is 20 degrees and this is approximately a right angle. So if we abstract that triangle out, if we have five centimeters here, a right angle here and 20 degrees, we can work out what this distance is, which is the maximum distance that will include the mosquito getting sprayed. And so if mosquito A travels less than this distance, let's call it X. If mosquito A travels less than X, then mosquito A is gonna be in the range of the, um, of the spray. And we can anticipate the same for B. So so for instance, mosquito A, we've got the mosquito A travels at 10 centimeters a second. Um, how far is it gonna travel in 0.1 seconds? Well, it's gonna travel one centimeter. Okay, so what that means is mosquito A's new position is one centimeter along. And so we're gonna perform this calculation and see if X, if X is larger than one, 
then it means the mosquito gets caught in that um, caught, caught in the spray. So we're going to do that for mosquito A, and we also have mosquito B. And because we know when they're closest together, we can work out the distance between them, how far apart they are. We can work out that distance. And so then the distance from S to B, that is going to be um, just five centimeters plus this distance. And so then we can even anticipate how far is the spray reaching down here. And we can anticipate is the mosquito B going to be clear of the cone as well? So that's those are that's sort of a fairly primitive way of analyzing it. Uh, so that's going to be a limited calculation. And then what we're going to do is maybe is build on that calculation. And a really easy way to, for us to build on it is to go rather than spraying when they're both in that line, maybe we can start to anticipate spraying before. Okay, so so, so let's say mosquito A is here. Mosquito A arrives at position A prime as the spray arrives at position A prime. And similarly, mosquito B is arriving at that position. So we're not spraying it um, when they're collinear. We're spraying it maybe a second or 0.5 seconds before to anticipate they're going to both be in the center of the cone there rather than on the outside. Because if they're in the center of the cone, that's when they're going to, um, to get the most spray incident upon them, the, the bit largest magnitude of spray incident upon them, or even if they're flying through the cone of spray. All right, so that's where we can take that calculation a little bit further. So this is just one way that we can model um, spray as a cone using vectors as lines.